Hi, and welcome to the Newturner free diabetic video education program created by diabetics for diabetics. 15 videos covering the most important topics every diabetic or pre-diabetic should know on proper self-management. These videos are also helpful for friends, family and caregivers to help them understand the problems a diabetic goes through. Each video has a free workbook in ebook and PDF format. So just click the link on the screen now to download it. We highly recommend you download these to get the most out of the information. To view all 15 videos and 9 must-read free ebooks available, just subscribe and visit the Newturner channel now. Hi, and welcome to video 8 in the Naturna How to Fight Diabetes and Win educational program, your roadmap to success. Today, I would like to talk to you about medications for diabetes. Now, this can be quite a complicated subject, so I suggest you consult your workbook you received along with the video. It will help you understand it better. Did you know that according to the American Diabetes Association, 85% of adults diagnosed with diabetes take insulin and or an oral medication to manage their diabetes? So, firstly, treating diabetes. There are two primary types of diabetes medications used to treat diabetes, insulin and oral medication or uh, pills. Of those adults that use medication to manage their diabetes, 19% take insulin only, 14% take both insulin and oral medication, and 67% take oral medication only. Adults who take insulin include people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes, and these people must have insulin delivered by injection or a pump. Because the pancreas of a person needing insulin is not able to produce any or enough insulin on its own to properly control blood sugar. Adults taking both insulin and oral medication as well as those taking oral medication only include people with type 2 diabetes. Initially, most people with type 2 are insulin resistant and do not use the insulin that the pancreas makes properly. Some people with type 2 diabetes may control blood sugar with meal planning and even exercise alone. Others with type 2 may need to take diabetes pills, one or more of different kinds. As the needs for insulin increase, the pancreas of people with type 2 diabetes gradually loses its ability to produce it, and people with type 2 diabetes may require insulin. So. In order to determine if your oral medication and or insulin therapy is effectively controlling your diabetes, you must test your blood sugar. How often and when you test is very important. To find out if your medication and or insulin is keeping your blood sugar within your target range, you must check your blood sugar when your doctor recommends. Together with your doctor, you can review your test results to see if any changes needed to be made to your diabetes care plan, including adjustments in your medication therapy. If your doctor has prescribed diabetes oral medications to help you control your blood sugar, you should keep a list of them on hand. At your next visit, ask your doctor to help you complete the chart like this for your records. Recording your medication name, the dosage, amount you take, the frequency, when to take it, and the side effects. Some other questions you may want to ask your doctor about diabetes medication you are taking include, can my medication be combined with other medication I take? What do I do if I forget to take my diabetes medication? And what do I do about taking my medication if I become sick? Okay. So, let's look at the different classes of oral medication. There are six classes of diabetes oral medication used to lower blood sugar. These classes include sulfonylureas, meglitinides, biguanides, thiazolidinediones, alpha-glucosidase inhibitors, and dipeptidyl peptidase 4, 
DPP4 inhibitors. Each medication class functions differently and your doctor will prescribe pills from the class or classes of medication that will best control your blood sugar based upon your self-monitoring record and other health criteria. So let's look at each of these now. What they do, what should you do, and the possible side effects on you. Firstly, sulfonylureas. It will stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin, help insulin work better by moving glucose into body cells, may increase the risk of hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. Side effects, upset stomach, skin rash or itching, weight gain, alcohol interaction. Check blood sugar levels before meals, four to five hours after the previous meal, or two to three hours after meals. Fasting blood glucose. Minimum one to two times per day. Meglitinides. Stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin in a short-lived quick burst. Can be combined with biaguanides. May increase risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Take 0 to 30 minutes before a meal. If you skip or add a meal, skip or add a dose. Check your blood sugar level one to two hours after eating. Biguanides slow the rate at which the liver releases stored glucose. Do not increase the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar when taken alone. May promote weight loss and lower blood fat levels. Side effects, metallic taste in mouth, nausea, diarrhea, stomach upset that disappears with use. Check blood sugar level before meals, four to five hours after previous meal. Fasting blood glucose. Thiazolidine diones help muscles make better use of the insulin released. Do not increase the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. May decrease the effectiveness of birth control pills. Require yearly liver tests. Check blood sugar levels two to three hours after meals, fasting blood glucose, minimum one time per day. Alpha glucosidase inhibitors block the enzymes that digest the starches you eat. Do not increase the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar when taken alone. Side effects, gas, bloating, diarrhea that disappears with use. Check blood sugar level two hours after eating. Dipeptidyl peptidase 4, DPP4 inhibitors, prevent the breakdown of naturally occurring GLP-1, which is a hormone that helps the release of insulin to lower blood glucose after eating. Decrease the amount of sugar made by the liver. Do not increase the risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Do not tend to cause weight gain and may promote lower blood fat levels. Side effects. Upper respiratory infection, stuffy or runny nose, sore throat, headache. Check blood sugar level two hours after eating. In addition to the medications belonging to the classes above, there are combination therapies that can help improve blood sugar control. Because each class of oral medication functions differently, a combination therapy of two drugs from separate classes is sometimes prescribed to better address specific blood sugar problem patterns. In your workbook, you will see we have included a list of classes, the different brands available, including generic and who makes them, plus the combination types. And please consult your doctor if you have any questions. Okay, so let's look at taking insulin. Oral medication is not effective in lowering blood sugar in all people with diabetes. Those people with type 1 diabetes must have insulin delivered by injection or a pump to control their blood sugar. Some people with type 2 diabetes may also need to have insulin injections. In order to keep blood sugars within your target range, you must have usable insulin to move the sugar in your blood to your cells 
where it can be used for energy. In people with diabetes that use insulin, manufactured insulin replaces the natural insulin that the pancreas is not producing. With a proper type of insulin given in the correct amount at the right time, blood sugar can be effectively managed. There are four types of manufactured insulin, including rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting insulins. No one type is better than the others. Each type of insulin functions differently to meet the different needs of the body. Most people who use insulin require more than one type of insulin to control their blood sugar effectively throughout the day and night. In addition to the four types of insulin, there are pre-mixed insulins, which are made up of two types of insulin for convenience. Your doctor will prescribe the types of insulin that will best control your blood sugar based upon your self-monitoring record and other health criteria. Rapid acting insulin begins to work the fastest of all the types of insulins within 15 minutes. This kind of insulin is injected just before meals. By the time the meal is digested and sugar is beginning to move into the bloodstream, rapid acting insulin is working its hardest to move that sugar into the cells. Because this insulin peaks within an hour, you should never delay eating after using rapid acting insulin. Short acting or regular insulin begins to work within 30 minutes and is used around mealtime as well. Intermediate acting insulin takes longer to reach the bloodstream, about two to four hours. It is effective for much longer than rapid acting and short acting insulins and is often used in combination with regular insulin to control blood sugar throughout the day. Long acting insulin has continuous peak less action and absorption throughout the day. Because long acting insulin does not provide enough insulin to cover meals, people must use rapid acting or short acting insulin before all meals to provide coverage for the increase in blood sugar from food. Because each type of insulin acts differently, your doctor may recommend that you mix different types together in a single injection. When mixing insulin, remember to look closely at the insulin's appearance in the vial. Insulin packaging looks similar and it is very important to use the proper amount of each type as prescribed by your doctor. Pre-mixed insulins may be convenient for those who mix insulins in a single injection. Often, insulin is pre-mixed in a pre-filled insulin pen. These pens are more portable and provide an accurate way to inject insulin on the go. Pre-mixed insulins and insulin pens can be very helpful for people with poor vision and difficulty using their hands and fingers. In your workbook, you will find a list of insulins who makes them and a chart showing the onset, peak, and duration timeframes of each type, as well and when it is best to test your blood sugar after taking insulin. So, Let's look at some guidelines now that you should follow when taking insulin. Make sure you use the same brand, strength, and kind of insulin that your doctor prescribed. Do not change insulin or insulin dosage without asking your doctor. Do not expose insulin to extreme hot or cold temperatures. Never store insulin in the freezer, direct sunlight, or your car. Keep spare vials of insulin in the refrigerator. Keep the vial of insulin you are using at room temperature to reduce skin irritation when injecting. Do not use insulin that has a frosty ring around the neck of the vial. Do not use insulin that is discolored, clumps, or will not mix well. Do not use expired insulin. Check product labels for how long insulin vial or cartridge should be used after the seal is broken. When mixing intermediate acting insulin with rapid acting or short acting insulin, draw up the rapid acting or short acting insulin into the syringe first. Inject insulin into the abdomen where it is absorbed more consistently and works better. Do not stop taking your insulin when you are sick unless your doctor advises. Have a glucagon kit available in case you have a severe low blood sugar and become unconscious after an injection. 
you will need a prescription for your doctor for this kit. And remember, you will find all these lists in your workbook. As you know, research is ongoing in the development of a more effective therapy for diabetes. And some other injectable therapies that can be used by people with diabetes include the following. Exenatide and Premlintide. You will find information about the brand names and manufacturer in your workbook. These injectable therapies work differently than oral medication or insulin. Firstly, Exenatide. Exenatide helps the body produce the right amount of insulin when blood sugar is high after meals. To be used only by people with type 2 diabetes. Can be used in combination with oral medications including 1. Metformin 2. Metformin sulfonylurea combination 3. Metformin thiazolidine dione's combination 4. Sulfonylurea 5. Thiazolidine dione's Injected twice daily within 60 minutes before morning and evening meals. May suppress appetite. Increased risk of low blood sugar when taking with a sulfonylurea. Side effects. Nausea, vomiting. Premlintide. Functions like naturally occurring hormone amylin produced by pancreas. Slows down the movement of food through the stomach, affecting how fast sugar enters the bloodstream after eating. To be used by people with type 1 or type 2 diabetes who take mealtime insulin. Injected before meals of at least 250 calories or more than 30 grams of carbohydrates. Helps to suppress appetite and lower high blood sugar after meals. Side effects. Nausea. Insulin-induced hypoglycemia. Well, that's it for medication for diabetes. <laughs> Quite a difficult and important subject. So please, use the workbook as a reference or consult your doctor if needed. And as you know, advances in diabetes medication is ongoing. So new and better medications may be available even as you listen to this. So it's important to check with your care team regularly about new medications that might work for you. In next week's video, we will be covering illness, infection, and sugary. Here you will learn how they make controlling your blood sugar more difficult, why you need a plan ahead, and the sick day conditions you need to be on the lookout for, and importantly, what to do when you are sick. How to monitor your condition and when to contact your doctor. A very, very important video. Until then, remember to stay positive, and just start. I hope you enjoyed that video. But I'd also like you to remember that if you have a blood sugar problem, a weight management problem, low energy problem, or any of the other problem diabetic symptoms, Uterna has a product created by diabetics for diabetics to help you. The powerful strength diabetic support, formulated with 28 natural ingredients that will support you in seven ways. Promote normal blood sugar, promote healthy weight loss, reduce absorption of sugars and carbohydrates, promote healthy insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance, promote heart, blood vessel and nerve function health, a powerful antioxidant and immune booster, promote healthy energy. It also saves you money. Why buy three or four supplements when you can get it all in one super supplement? Neuterna is highly bioavailable, in capsule form, easy to swallow, and more importantly, more readily available for your body. To find out more about how it can help you, just click the link on the screen now. You'll be glad you did.